welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about this gorgeous coffee plant I just got. So if you're new here, be sure and hit the subscribe button and tap the bell for notifications for more videos and hit the like button at the end of the video. And let's go ahead and get started. So I've got this plant probably about two weeks ago. And as you can see, it has already put out new sprouts. You can see right here at the top and right over here this is new i'm going to definitely say this is a fast growing plant the leaves feel kind of waxy it's beautiful easy to take care of loves water it'd be kind of hard to overwater it unless you just keep it completely soggy this is what it looks like this has quickly moved up to one of my most favorite plants. I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. It's from Ethiopia. It's called a, an area kaffa. The plant comes from probably around 1800 BC. So yeah, it's been around a long time. It began spreading around the world and reached North America in 1668. The first coffee house opened in New York in 1696. It was called the King's Arms. It does flower in the spring with small white flowers and then it will bear half inch berries. It can reach six feet tall. You need to prune it every spring if you want to keep it smaller. And it's very easy to grow. Great for beginners. I would say definitely an easy plant to take care of. It prefers bright, sunny light, so you can keep it near a window and it'll do great. But you need to avoid direct sunlight. It will burn the leaves. Water weekly, but check it midweekly because I watered this weekly and midweekly it was completely dry and drooping. So one way that you will know if it needs water, if, it's, if you see it drooping, you're gonna definitely know it needs water. And it bounces back really great because I watered this on Sunday, which was five days ago, and it was drooping this morning, so I watered it and it's already perked back up. So it's a real easy plant to take care of. It loves high humidity, and you need to give it plant food every two weeks. I use Super Grow plant food. Use a 1010 fertilizer, which is what I use. Use it at half strength, bi-weekly or monthly, whichever one you wanna do. Usually if you give it fertilizer bi-weekly, it helps the plant grow faster. So keep that in mind with whichever plant you have if you want it to grow faster. Fertilize it bi-weekly at half strength. It prefers a well-draining potting soil. I use the Super Grow Fast Growing Soil and it is really a great soil. You need to repot once a year and only move up two inches in your pot. Don't go bigger. Your plant won't do well if you go in a real big pot. They just don't do well. You can propagate it by cutting the stem, but it's a long process. So to go into that, that's going to be another whole video. But you can propagate it that way, or you can propagate it from seeds. Pest. It is susceptible to mealybugs, thrips, scale insects, and mites. If that should happen, if you get them, you can do a couple of things. You can take a warm cloth with water and just wipe each, each leaf and make sure it's completely clean. Or you can use a stream of water to knock off the um, pest. And yes, this is a toxic plant to humans and to pets. So be really, really careful not to let them chew on them or put them in their mouth. Okay, there you have it. There's one of my very favorite plants. I really love this one. It's so gorgeous. If you have any questions, be sure and link them below. I'll answer them if I can. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.